Hey guys, today I'm over here. I'm going to be um, fishing St. Mary's Lake. I'm right now at the um, North uh, Hunters parking lot. I've got to walk back to the lake. The lake's about a mile and a quarter from here, back behind those woods. I got to walk down the road, go down the dam road, and then um, drop in the water there right off the dam. You can go down and you can step in there and start wade fishing. But I'll probably walk another half mile down a trail, the lake trail, and drop in. Um, there's a shallow bay area off of a cove, uh, catch a lot of fish there. I'm gonna start there casting a paddle tail jig. That doesn't work, I'll uh, change it up to a wacky worm. I'll let you know that later. Anyway, the um, parking lot and the ramp is still closed here. It's supposed to open up this month in October, but it's not gonna open now until December, they say. So the only option is to drag in kayak back there, which I've done before, or wade fishing. Today, I'm just gonna go wade fishing. Um, should be fun, uh, chest waders, uh, just taking one spinning rod, a backpack with some tackle in it, uh, wacky worms, jigs, a couple of small plugs, and we'll see what happens with that. Um, but let me get up, suited up here with my waders, my chest waders, and then um, I'll walk back there and I'll talk later after I take a few casts and see if I catch something. Hey guys, I just walked down the quarter mile from the parking up this way. This is the trailhead on Dam Road that will take you back to the uh, dam that holds back the water for the uh, lake. Uh, St. Mary's Lake is a 250 acre lake, um, surface area, 250 acres, and um, it holds anything from um, largemouth bass, pickerel, I've got some big pickerel, 26 inches out of here, largemouth bass up to five and a half pounds maybe. Uh, most of the bass are small fish. Uh, some crappie in here as well, yellow perch, believe it or not. Um, and bluegill, some nice size bluegill. And then on the other side of the dam, um, there's a spillway in that is the St. Mary's River. Uh, catch largemouth bass out of there, crappie out of there, and also snakehead. St. Mary's River is full snakehead if you go on down, but the lake itself does not have them. Uh, so fortunately, nobody's dumped them in there yet that we know of. Anyway, I'm cruising down for a mile walk here. It'll take a few minutes and we'll go from there. Uh, a little update here. I'm going kind of backwards today. Uh, instead of walking the half mile, additional half mile down to where I drop in, I started up at the uh, dam where I saw some fish yesterday. I caught a uh, pickerel and a largemouth bass, and then I worked my way around to the first cove, um, catching an additional seven bass there. So I've got total eight bass and one pickerel. Uh, the first bass and pickerel I caught them on a um, heading uh, zero spook little small four inch bait, uh, white and red. And then uh, the other fish I caught were on a um, wacky worm. And then I caught a small largemouth bass on a little jig over here. I may go back to the wacky worm, but the reason I switched is uh, the fish are fairly small. No really large, large mouth. Anyway, I'm fishing the grass line right now. Uh, there's hydrilla throughout here. It's pretty much choked up on the shoreline about 10 to 15 foot out. So the fish I've been catching are basically a little bit offshore. Um, except for the um, zero spook, I caught those two fish fairly close and they were on rip wrap. Um, but uh, that's a little different. I didn't want to work the way down to the um, down to the spillway. I want to come back down to this cove. It's actually back around the corner right here. It'll go down to be another cove. And there'll be a little further one down there. This is a um, actually these are little bays off of the, the cove. That's the main lake right back there. And then um, I used to bring my kayak in, come back here and catch a lot of fish or I'll wade fish this area since it's close to shoreline um, to a walk in here. But um, it, all the shoreline's good. Um, hey guys, fishing here along the shoreline. You see right there the grass on down through there. Anyway, casting a uh, paddle tail jig and bringing it up and catching these little bitty dinky guys today. Anyway, let him go. Hey 
everyone. Um, about ready to wrap it up here. I made it back to the flat area of the cove I was talking about, and it's pretty much grass filled up. But I did get a nice little bass here. He's probably the biggest one of the day. Um, got him on a um, paddle tail jig. Anyway, um, wrap is up today here. Uh, a little windy, the wind's starting to pick up. I think it's supposed to get up around 17, 16, 17 miles an hour today. Um, so I'm gonna pull off of here. That's the reason I didn't go out on the bay, it's because of the wind. Anyway, this morning wasn't too bad. This is fish number 12. Um, I'll have to get back here in the water. But anyway, um, fishing the shorelines, coming on down, uh, fishing the grass, paddle tail jigs, uh, wacky worm, and then really early on, I was using the um, head and spook, Sarah spook. It was uh, producing, I got two fish off of it. I saw those fish feeding, cast it over top of them and ended up catching them. Anyway, I'll let you go, so let him go. Talk to you.